Hey, what's up my fellow reefers? This is Fragbox TV and we're gonna start cycling our very expensive 10 gallon nano reef here in the store. Okay, my fellow reefers, what's going on? So we have our 10 gallon JBJ cube tank set up finally. It's been long overdue. We have this thing running and now we have to get it cycled. So very bare bones right now. There's really nothing going on. It's just salt water and a piece of rock that I think we're going with. You guys have spoken. I think the majority of people said they like the shape. Some people said, you know, if you're going to do the most expensive reef tank, you got to go with the most expensive rock. No, this little rock is actually quite expensive. It weighs about seven pounds. It's like a $50 piece of rock. Anyways, I really like the shape. We're going to go crazy with the corals on it. And as we add the equipment, it's going to become quite a obsessive and very expensive little build here in the store. I can't wait to get the apex up and running on it and run you through um, how cool this entire system is. So we're going to set up a full apex and hopefully I'll have room somewhere for a trident. It's a little bit limiting down here. We have this ugly ass power bar going on right now. So just to show you the before and then when we do our cool kind of apex board after it's going to be really neat we'll get the auto top off going and the power head but anyways getting sidetracked as usual we are going to cycle the tank with this very cool product here very popular we sell a ton of this stuff in the store i've used it before works like a charm but um what is it it's so it's a denitrifying uh, bacteria so live bacteria so right now the tank is not safe to add fish or corals or livestock because there's nothing in the tank to process the ammonia or the waste of those animals so if we go and add a fish into this tank today most likely it's not going to survive because you need the rock to be live rock you need that's your the main source of filtration in a saltwater tank is the rock it's going to process all of that ammonia into less harmful nitrate so we're going to go ahead and use this and one interesting thing about this bottle i don't know if i believe it it says that the tank will be ready for fish in nine days so i think that's quite a claim i'm going to follow the directions to a t on the back so it says to use minimum dose 10 mils or two capsules for 10 gallons so this being a 10 gallon tank if we do the math i'm going to use two capsules so that looks quite small i don't know if i should go over that have you guys used this before maybe comment below your experience with denitrifying bacteria if you've used this exact product here that's dr tim's one and only so it's saying i'm going to use two capsules and it cannot be overdosed okay so maybe i should do three capsules if you can't be overdosed keep refrigerated for a longer shelf life turn off skimmers i'm not using one ozone and uv i'm not using those either uh, remove filter socks 48 hours after adding this tank i believe we are using some filter sponge in the back let's check yeah it looks like some sponge but i'll go ahead and re remove that and just pretend it's a sock i guess the idea is that the mechanical filtration is going to pull out some of this additive here i guess that's what they're saying but basically it prevents new tank syndrome by instantly working to establish a biofilter in a newly set up aquarium so this being a newly set up aquarium we're going to add that see if it works i'm going to follow back in nine days i'm going to throw in a clownfish maybe you guys can pick out or help us pick out what sort of fish we're going to put in there i know t is pushing for a pair of clarkies i think these are clarkies here she's a really big fan of those i think that we should do something a little kind of cooler we're doing the most expensive nano reef how about a pair of you know uh, black storms or some rare yasha gobies you know something expensive and unusual you wouldn't typically find in a little 10 gallon tank but anyways you know i love when you guys comment below let us know i think that's it for this video we're going to report back in nine days on our findings if this is the real deal i don't know why we're using this lid actually i thought we decided in the store we weren't going to use it i don't think you use these tops on saltwater tanks because it blocks uh oxygen exchange i could be wrong i'm not really sure it does look sleek i'm going to take it off probably in the end but if you guys got any questions as usual i'm going to leave our contact info at the end of this video like i do every video and you guys are welcome to give us a shout if you want to talk about anything reef related this is what we do all day saltwater tanks and american bulldogs what's up Diggs? is that enough talking for today yeah this guy's ready to go home thanks for watching very much and this is fragbox tv